Lewis Hine was a photographer who worked with the National Child Labor Committee to reform the function of society. He traveled around the United States, sometimes pretending like he was a fire inspector or a Bible salesman to take photos of these children. He secretly took notes of the information he gained from these visits. For instance, one of his captions states, a young girl of no more than 12 or 13 years of age stands poised between a window and a cotton loom that seems to extend infinitely into the distance behind her. Almost metaphorically, her hair appears to be cropped short on the side that faces the loom, while a long braided ponytail faces the window as if its growth has been nourished by the sunlight. Lewis Hine visited numerous locations, including cotton mills, coal mines, and farms. Hines' collection of photographs all manifest limited depth of field. In other words, his pictures provide a sharp focus on the children, leaving the factories, machinery, farms, or other labor locations blurred out. However, the general shape of the working space is still purposely in the frame as it emphasizes the child who is placed in these horrid conditions. Due to the sharp focus, the audience can see the child's eyes, which gleams with innocence and purity, in explicit contrast to the rusty, human-made machinery. By the intentional placement of the factory, Hein brings clarity in the individuals, in which otherwise would have been just part of this messy and chaotic state of industrialization and labor. Hein's photographs became a useful tool for communicating emotions to the indifferent public. It was Lewis Hine who made sure that millions of children are not working in the status quo.